Hi everybody, how you doing? I'm Kim, welcome to The Regretful Yarn Addict. So today is a yarn haul from Joanne and a few little goodies from uh, Timu and Amazon, or Tamu. Um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to start with, but I think we're gonna start with the yarn right here in this box because quite frankly, I have forgotten what I ordered because I placed a big order. It was like over a hundred dollars and um, half of it, they canceled. And I ordered this on February 28th or 29th and it finally came Tuesday, which was the 11th. Was it the 11th? 12th was the 12th. Tuesday was the 12th. <clears throat> so, oh, you guys, today is actually Thursday, uh, the 14th. I got to work this morning and the siren went off like at eight o'clock this morning, the tornado siren. And uh, we were all fine, nothing. But, um, and then, oh man, my sinuses and my allergies just went poof all of a sudden and my head got all congested and I wound up coming home early and I took a nap uh, after I took some pills and I had a horrible dream. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it it was just all over the place. But it was like cohesive. You know, it wasn't like one of those dreams where you're here and then you're here and then you're there and you're like, you know, it makes sense in your dream. But when you wake up, you're like, mm -hmm. no, this one had me in a consistent flow. And at one point in the dream, I just grabbed all the stuff I was holding and I went like this and I was like, I just want to wake up from this horrible dream. It, it felt real. And it was like, I, I was just so, I don't know if I was frustrated or if I was just sad because it wasn't a scary dream. It was just one of those dreams where it's like, nothing is going right. If it can go wrong, it's going to go wrong. And, um, yeah, it was, I haven't had one of those in a while where it's, and it was, I was not aware that I was dreaming. I, in, in my dream, it felt very real. Because sometimes I know I'm dreaming and I'm like, oh God, just wake up. In this one, it, that when I was clutching my stuff, it wasn't like I knew I was in a dream and I had to wake up. I thought, in my dream, I thought it was real life. Anyway, let's see what's in this box. Because, like I said, I've forgotten. Okay, the first thing I see is another box that says mystery so we're gonna open that up I forgot I ordered a mystery box from Joanne I think it's Burnett and they had like three different ones and this is I don't know option C Burnett yarn gauge four so it's four weight whatever it is Yeah, I really don't have a lot in here. I have one blanket yarn, bright yellow. I think this school bus yellow, yeah. School bus yellow. Out of all the yarn, I, all the yarn, <laughs> all the cotton I ordered, the only thing I got was the big twist cotton this is 107 yards and this color it's 85 percent cotton 15 percent polyester and this is the color C 
sea glass. That's why I ordered, ooh, it wasn't even close. It's pretty. And I have four of them. And then I got three um, Red Heart Super Saver Retro Stripes. And three of the favorite stripes. And a nine millimeter Susan Bates hook. Because the only other nine I have is a. Uh, I think it's a furls. I'm just not a fan of furls. And you know what, you guys? I really don't have a preference over Susan Bates or Boy or any of that. Um, I, I don't. I just want a hook that's comfortable in my hand. I mean, I Tulip, of course, is my number one. But... Susan Bates of Boy, I don't care. Okay, you guys. So let's see what's in the mystery box. We'll take out my candy dandy little cutter. I love this thing. I think I paid like 49 cents for it on, on Tamu. I guess Tamu is the way it's supposed to be pronounced. But it will always be Timu. I don't like it. Elise. I think this is that loopy yarn. Yeah, it's that loopy yarn that you pull through. Oh, let's see. You pull it through and then pull it through that loop. I don't know. So I got two in this color. It's soft. It's really soft. This is Blue Lagoon. And this one is, no, oh, it was already open at one end. Aquamarine Green. This is a number seven, 6.4 ounces, 18 yards, 100% uh, polyester. I don't know. Guess I'll find something to do with it. And then I got Burnett Softy Chunky. Uh, 14 ounce, 431 yards. It's 100% acrylic. It's a number six. And the color is Misty Grape. Okay. Yay. All right, and that's why I don't order mystery bags from these places because a lot of times they put in the crappy yarn that just isn't selling. Oops. 
So anyways, first let's do my little, my favorite thing I got from Timu, Timu, Timu. Isn't that great? My sense of humor might hurt your feelings. This is going up in my cube at work. Outside. Just outside my little door so people will know. And um, I picked up some earrings. I don't know. I couldn't wear earrings for the longest time. It was, I just couldn't. It was like my ears would get all icky and sore and then all of a sudden I can wear earrings again so I have been ordering earrings and and get it open I want to show you these The only thing is, the head keeps wanting to turn. So give me a second, I'll put them on. Okay, I wasn't sure if the body was supposed to go in the back and the head just in front, but I tried that and it was like, my big old fat earlobe was hiding half the body. So, I decided that that was probably not the way to put it. So there's my little hanging skeletons. Okay, so moving on to Amazon, I got my Eclipse glasses because we are not in the totality. We were for the last one, and that was, like, so amazing. Just, like, wow. If you've never experienced a total eclipse, you've got about three weeks to make plans to get to an area where it's going to be total because it is the most awesome thing in your life. Maybe not. Maybe that's an exaggeration, but it's something that you, you really should experience. But don't forget your glasses. Okay, this last thing I'm going to show you that I got from Amazon. I could probably do an entire video on because I just, it's exactly what I was looking for. guys it's a hard cover and it has just your basic stuff then it has stitches and then there's a section for motifs big section and then in the back there's for edging and borders and it has, yeah, look at tools and equipment, starting off basic stitches, motifs, edgings, and trims. I am not seeing an author. Okay, yeah. It just says St. Martin's Griffin, Fifth Avenue, New York. No author. But, um, yeah, it has it has the names. Like a Florida de Lis stitch. I've never heard of that. Leaf Hopper, Sharp Chevron, 
alternative double link trebles, sedge, ruled lattice, zigzag lozenge, loop or first stitch, herringbone double, herringbone half double, her uh, wide double crochet. Um, just amazing. Relief arch, cabbage patch, mat stitch, wavy shell stitch, one, two, wheat sheaf, a woven shell stitch, Norman arch stitch, crossbill stitch, odd fourth cluster, petal, peacock fan, cross puffs cables, and then all of these really cool really awesome motifs it was less than 20 bucks on the back it says us 29.99 canada 39 but i got it for less than 20. and i love it uh, like i said i could do a whole video on just that but I won't because it's not my book. I mean, I own this book, but it's not my book to like, be like, blah, 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 blah. So I went over the basics with you. And if you don't buy, and if you want a, a book that has stitches and edges and trims and some trips, trips, tips and tricks, I recommend highly recommend and like i said i got that off uh amazon for less than twenty dollars so there you go that's going to do it <coughs> oh and there was a second siren a second tornado siren this afternoon so yay um I remember a few years ago, it seemed like there was a tornado siren every other day, all summer, or at least in the spring through the summer. It was, it was wild. I mean, it got to the point where it was like, pfft. even now it's been, a, today was like odd because, you know, having one, but then having two, but yeah, we just hear the sirens and then we turn on the TV to find out if there's a tornado near us um, before we go running down to the basement and getting all panicky. <clears throat> because St. Louis County is huge. Uh, widely populated and huge. So there could be something in the southern part of the county, you know, 30 miles away from me not even heading in my direction. We'd still get the siren going off. So anyway, I hope y'all are safe wherever you are and uh, you remain that way. That would be great. So have yourselves a great day, great morning, great evening, whatever, whenever, wherever it is when you're watching. Later, Gators. Peace out.